What's going on, everybody? Um, I got home from work early today and had a nice surprise in the mail that I would like to share with you. So, you can follow me and I'll let you know my little secret. By the way, how you doing today? You doing good? Yeah? Good. This is going to be awesome. So, well, let me show you this first. New speakers. Patriot Swamp Thang. Patriot Texas Heat. As my friend Frankie said in his popular video, going out to L.A. Born in Texas, die in Texas. I've never been to Texas, so I don't know. Those speakers are going in this cab. I took the old Celestians out because I've never been a fan of the stock Celestian speakers and Marshall cabs. But I like Marshall cabs because I think they're built pretty well. But that's not the, um, the payoff. The payoff today is um, life's been pretty good to me lately. And I'm sharing this process with everybody because... It's kind of unconventional and unorthodox, and the deeper meaning is I hope it inspires you to do something you know you've been thinking about doing and you've been putting off for a while. Just do it. Just do it. You'll feel a lot better. Just grab life by the balls and go with it. So for like the last year, I've I've really wanted to. Um, like build a Stratocaster because Strats are cool, you know. They they play good and um, they're just cool looking. So uh, my dad came across uh, a Stratocaster at a pawn shop or whatever you want to call it in Pottstown, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, and he picked it up for me. And here it is. It's a black Strat. Chinese, you know, it's real heavy too. It's probably base wood, I'm guessing. But I kind of like that because it's going to have a, like, a nice low-end tone to it. You know, whatever kind of neck. I took everything off of it. Uh, it was pretty beat up. I mean, the, the paint was still on it, but the pickups were sunk in. And one of the tuners was broke off. Just, you know, pretty beat up. So perfect candidate for what I'm going to do to it. Um, I took some mescaline one day and sanded the shit out of it. Um, like, I just wanted to make it look kind of like just ugly and take it down to the paint um, with, you know, no rhyme or reason basically. Just kind of see where I ended up that day. And that, that was a fun day too. And this one Beave, the bass player from Val de Val, in case you don't know us, we rule, um, he gave this to me. This is like one of those, uh, this is like one of those strats you get, it's like that, you know, like the $100 Sam Ash jobber, where, you know, you get like the free amp with it. Um, so, yeah, I took all this shit off that one too. And I got these, I found these really awesome pick guards on eBay from this place called... Dragonfire, um, it's gold mirrored, so I think that'll look really good. I'm going to put that one on the black one, and this one's going to go, the silver one, this one's really cool looking too, if I can get this plastic off, right, it's sexy. That one's going to go on the, um, the sunburst. This one, it's red when I, uh, I bought this for a future project that I'm going to do with a white strap body and I think it'll look great. Um, you'll notice it's a, uh, they're all humbucker, single coil humbucker uh, setup. And that's mainly because I'm a Les Paul guy and um, you know, I, I really can't, I, I like the low end of the Les Paul and the tone of the Les Paul. So I wanna keep that humbucker sound with you know the middle single coil pickup in there 
But uh, the real thing is, the way I'm going to distress these guitars is I'm, I'm going to burn them. I'm going to light them all, I'm going to pour gasoline on them and just set them ablaze and see how the flames develop patterns on the guitar body because I think it'll look really cool. And then depending on how that looks, which I'm not sure because I've never done that before, I could I could burn the shit out of them, I don't know, until they're unplayable, so we'll see. But um, after that, depending on how it looks, to even give it more of the um, road-worn, distressed look, whatever you want to call it, uh, I'm going to throw a chain, I'm going to take the necks off and throw a chain through the body. And uh, I'm going to drag it around for like a quarter mile on my motorcycle and like scratch the shit out of it. So it just literally just looks like it's it's been in a house fire and fell through like three floors. And then put it all back together and play it in that condition and see what it sounds like. It, it could sound like shit, <laughs> but it's all about the process. It's all about doing something different just for, you know, the sake of trying something out. And after telling, you know, explaining the process to a few people, they said that you, I should definitely, you know, document this. So this is my documentation. And uh, I hope it inspires you to document something awesome that you would like to do in your life as well. Uh, and I'll record again when I decide to set them ablaze. Until then, uh, love everybody, enjoy your day, and think of something creative to do. Alright, bye.